बॉयज होल्ड योर ग्लासेस अप कॉज टूडे इट्स सेलिब्रेशन टाइम चैप्टर टेन नाइन्टी सेवन जस्ट ड्रॉप द बंच ऑफ लोअर ऑन द चैनल आइकन एंड आई एम डैंसिंग मंकी डी ड्रैगन इट इज दिस चैप्टर वॉज सच अ लवली चैप्टर विद द मोस्ट क्लिफ हैंगर एंडिंग एज यूजल बाय ओडा हैविंग गिनी गेटिंग किडनेप्ड बाय अ पोटेंशियल ग्रैंड पा Kuma healing the patients and taking the damage of all of the Sorbet Kingdom onto himself. The forming of revolutionary army. The chemistry between Guinea and Kuma, and most importantly, Dragon betraying the navy. The chapter starts with Kuma hanging in the Sorbet Kingdom, and he is living a good life with Guinea, who is now the crush of every man on Sorbet. And my boy Kuma has finally became a pastor, which is interesting and a good development from Kuma's side. We still have those two guys grown up accompanying Kuma and Ginny who eventually grow up to become Bonnie's crewmates and then we meet another booger head King of Sorbet Bekori the number 2 celestial dragon fan cause the number 1 goes to York of course then we see a heartbreaking panel of Kuma taking all the damage from the weak people elderly people especially so they can work and pay taxes to the shitty king while kuma takes all the damage this is because kuma is a buccaneer and he just chose to take all the damage because he can take more damage than usual people but this is definitely not a good idea in any way this whole scene just goes to an extent to make us understand how pure hearted kuma is in the end he just wants everybody's safety then we have a sort of a quick but awkward moment between gini and kuma where gini asks Kuma for marriage but she gets denied because Kuma's past experiences make makes him realize that he is a buccaneer and if he marries someone that woman will suffer with him as well just like how Kuma's mom did if if he ever gets captured which is utterly depressing to look at because they really like each other but they can't marry due to the shitheads sitting at the top of the mountain between the sea and this just makes sabo's rage and dragon going nuts totally understandable till now we had an image of kuma that he is a merciless dude called as a tyrant for some reason and now it's totally the other way around he's just like the most nicest guy in one piece in general then the shitty king just decides to cut sorbet in half and make the southern part of sorbet an illegal territory putting kuma in jail because he revolted against the king for doing that But then the goat and the Okama goat enters the chat and they just literally destroy the king's palace saving Kuma and Ginny from jail. It gets revealed that Dragon was from the navy and one day he was like na bro I'm going to do my own thing and hence he formed the group Freedom Fighters which further gets renamed as the Revolutionary Army once after Kuma joins them. And fun fact the anime just spoiled Dragon's epithet and that's not even revealed in the manga. It's called the Insurgent Serpent, the Revolutionary Dragon. Now it kind of clarifies a lot of theories out there, but what I can see clearly is that he's called a serpent, a snake, cause he betrayed the navy and just decided to just, you know, just quit because the ideologies of dragons justice and hot dogs justice differs a lot. So he just quit to form his own army. approaching the end of chapter with the abduction of gini by someone now i can't figure out people by looking at the shoes until it's luffy cause my man does not wear gucci or puma he wears advance conqueror immune slippers the most goated footwear in all of anime but who i strongly think kidnapped gini is saint saturn surprisingly because this santa claus is getting way too much spotlight than before he is on egghead he was in the flashback and it makes sense for him to kill gini and also if you look more properly there is a cloud pattern similar to saturn's devil fruit around the foot of this individual i mean he's arguably the only person to do such a thing against the navy hating revolutionaries so it might would have been like rather than sending a navy cadet as a fodder they might have thought well 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 why not just one of us steps down and just makes an example by killing a few people there is nothing to confirm till yet we have to wait for the next chapter to arrive but whatever it is oda is clearly setting something up for chapter 1100 the timing of the flashback and the whole flashback in itself is going to run for like one of one or two more chapters 
accompanied by Kuma's arrival on Egghead. And if my assumption is somehow true, Kuma might just pull an electrode on Egghead Island by pushing the straw hats and Vegapunk ahead and using self-destruct to KO the Spider Santa. But in whatever case, something absurd and big is gonna happen in a few chapters. Do let me know your thoughts about it and I'll see you soon.